Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how to set up a Facebook group. So this is a little bit different than a Facebook page, but a lot of the functions are pretty much the same. So let's jump into the Facebook app here and I'll show you how to set that up. So on your Facebook app, regardless of what page you're on, just click the three lines on the bottom right here and that will take you to this page where you should see a group option. So if you select the group option from this page, you could get to the group page. If Facebook changes this, please let me know in the description so I can make an updated video for you. Once you're here, you could see the groups that I'm a part of and you could also discover groups here, but to create one, you wanna press the plus sign right on top, right? I'm gonna go ahead and press that and that will take me to create a group page. So here, I just have to name my group. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this one Halfinity. I'm gonna press done. Next, I could choose an image so I could select that and it will take me to my camera roll here, so I would choose a image here. Then I could choose my friends to be members of this group, so I could press the plus sign and choose anybody I want to add. I'm gonna just skip this for right this second. And privacy, you have three different options. This could be a public group, so anybody could find it. It could be a closed group, where only members could see what's going on, or a secret group. Secret groups could only be found by members. So here where you choose your friends to be members, only those people could be part of the secret group. I'm gonna choose this to be a public group here. I'm gonna press create right on top and it's gonna tell you, you have to have at least one friend to create a group. So let me go ahead and choose one friend. I'm gonna press next. And now I could create the group. So you need at least yourself and one other person to create a group. I'm gonna press create now. And just like that, the group has been created. So it's gonna give you some options and some feedback to go ahead and optimize your group, like adding a cover photo, describing your group, writing a welcome post and so on. I'm gonna just slide that down here. So now you have created a group. Let me show you a few things on the mobile app that you could do with a group. So here on top, if you press edit, you could upload your cover photo. So I recommend you do that first. Then beneath that, you could always press add and add new members to your group. So you could go ahead and do that next. And then underneath that, you have admin tools. So if you press admin tools, here are some of the options you have. So you have your settings, you could see your members here, you could see your member request. So all those options are gonna be right here. So under settings, for example, these are some of the options I have. So pending member questions, and here is how you approve members from joining your group. I'm gonna go back here. So you could dive into the admin tool and learn a lot about it. As usual, you could write your post right here. So this is very similar to any other page, personal page, fan page, business page. You could just write a post like you would any other time. You also have your group story. So just like Facebook and Instagram stories, you could create those. You could select the color for your group. So let me go ahead and select the color. This is fine. I'm gonna apply that color. And I could go to the about page. And here I want to add a description to the group. So I could just go ahead and type in what this group is about. So I set a place to request how-to videos from other members. This is a how-to video channel and a how-to video group. So this way when members are added, they could request other members to create how-to videos. And then we could put it on howfinity.com or this YouTube channel. I'm gonna press done here. So right there, the group has been started. So again, I'm gonna keep this group open actually for my YouTube followers. So go ahead and add this group, the Halfinity group and request how-to videos that you want to see on this channel. And one last thing I wanted to show you while you're on this page, if you press I on top, it's gonna give you this option that you could go to your admin tools, you could see your members, you could share the group and you could unfollow or leave the group here on the bottom. So now that the group has been created, if you come on this page, on any page on Facebook, click the three lines on the bottom, that group should be right on top here. And it's gonna recommend you that you go to the admin tool and learn more. And I'll show you one last thing here while we're on here. You have your about discussion photos, but you also have events, files, and albums. So under events, for example, I could jump in there and create an event and I'll make a separate video on how to create events on Facebook groups, but that's very handy. And you have your files where you could actually upload files. This is mostly handy on the desktop version. And you have your albums where you could create videos and photo albums by being on this tab. And discussion is where you're gonna spend most of your time having discussions with group members. So I hope this was helpful to create and getting your group started. Again, there's a lot of options here to kind of browse around, but as usual under discussion, you could write something similar to any Facebook post. You have your photos, you have your events, 
and you can make this public or private. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. I post easy to follow social media videos every single day of the week and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.